Yesterday, we looked at the developing campaign for Montana's newly minted Western Congressional District, known as District 1. Today, I give you a glimpse into the race for Montana's new Eastern District, or District 2, where our only incumbent Congressman, Republican Matt Rosendale, does have challengers for 2022. The new Eastern District, which includes Helena, Great Falls, Billings, and most of Central and Eastern Montana, leans strongly Republican. In conventional wisdom, says first-term Congressman Matt Rosendale, is a pretty safe bet for re-election in 2022. But he's not without an early opponent. Democrat Jack Ballard, an outdoor writer, former teacher, and former Baptist minister from Red Lodge. Ballard launched his campaign in August and has been traveling the district and talking to voters, saying the district needs a congressman who will support working Montanans. Every year it seems like it's more difficult for working class Montanans to, to make a living here, to afford housing. And, and I look at the lifestyle that I grew up in, family farm and ranching, and it's getting there too. It, it's getting tougher and tougher to make a living and you can sit around and talk about it or you can try to do something about it. Ballard was born in Butte and grew up on a ranch west of Three Forks. He favors a higher minimum wage, says he's a strong supporter of labor unions, and that it's well past time to enforce antitrust laws against the big meat packers so ranchers get more for their product. He also said it's a no-brainer to support the federal infrastructure bill that passed last month and notes that Rosendale voted against it. There's so much that needs to be addressed in this state in relation to uh, rural uh, municipal water systems, roads, bridges, the obvious things, uh, irrigation delivery uh, for ag operations, and by the way, producing thousands of really good jobs that you don't need to have an advanced education to hold. Rosendale said he opposed the measure because it promotes what he called a radical climate agenda. Ballard is saying Rosendale is the radical, aligning himself with the far-right fringe of congressional Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia or Matt Gates of Florida. That's the group of people that he consistently votes with and has aligned himself with in Congress. And I just don't see how that is positive for Montana or how it's positive for the country. Rosendale hasn't officially declared himself a candidate yet and didn't respond to questions for this story. But at last count, Rosendale's campaign had almost 40 times the money that Ballard had raised. In this district, it will be an uphill climb for any Democrat who challenges the incumbent. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News.